All right, ladies, gentlemen, and those anywhere on the spectrum, greetings, all of you. This is the first... <laughs> this is a mess. This is the first uh, pony podcast, as I believe we're calling it. Ooh, my gain's up. The first uh, pony podcast, as we're calling it, for My Little Pony, The Last Generation. I am Safi Animoid. I play the role of Dra- uh, Sparkle Snap, Dragon Lord Mist, and Cinnamon Breeze. And who else wishes to introduce themselves? Hello, my name is Jacob, also known as Jay Watchcraft, and I voice Wish I Might and part of the screenwriting crew for The Last Generation. And absolute silence just engulfs the podcast. <laughs> Nana, the green apple spider. Oh, what uh, do you do for our project? Um, I'm sorry. Um, now you get you stage, I got a little stage right. Um, hello. You good. You good. Hello, people. I am Nana Oliver, and I am the voice of Amberlox, who is, yeah, I am the voice of Amberlox. And finally. Mm-hmm. Hello, everyone. My name is Persa Kitty. And I have the honor of voicing Rainbow Dash, Cherry Blossom, and the one and only Queen Precious Gem. I also get to do some concept art and design for some of the characters, such as Precious Gem and Amberlox. All right. So, I have no idea where we should start. Um, I think first we can start by just admiring the um, quality arts we have on screen. Um... We'll be lucky. If we're lucky, we'll be blessed by one of the masterpieces by uh, Maeve, um, who actually is the voice actor of Wisteria. But um, one, 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 of my, one of my daughters. <laughs> one, friends, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just funny. One of my friends is my daughter. <laughs> one of one of my friends is thine daughter. Um, <laughs> oh my god! I have a niece. <laughs> But yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We may also get, um, there's one particular one by Basic Res, um, that is top tier quality, top quality. Any of you, I doubt any of the fans would even know about this, but, um, let's just say our director, Max, um, he, he, he's basically become a meme. Um, I'm not going <laughs> to spoil the details. I'll probably put a link to the video. I'll, you'll, you'll just, you'll just see it to, to believe it. <laughs> I'll put a link to um, <laughs> I'll put a link to the video th- talking about it in the description when I, whenever this gets posted or I think actually Max is gonna post it so I'll just give him make sure he knows to put the link, um but yeah, let, let let's just say Blueby shall rise, yes. Blueby shall rise. But that's beside the point. Okay, uh, let's oh, see there, topics. There, topics. There, there, there it is. There it is. <laughs> oh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> there it is right there. <laughs> Oh, God bless Blueby. Uh, regardless <laughs> of right. I'm loving the artwork that we've just gotten from everyone. Like, there's some that remind me of um, the recent <laughs> My Little Pony, and then we've got this one, for example, which is just out of out oh, of yeah, this world. I've, I love it. <laughs> it's amazing. Absolutely. It makes, absolutely. makes me excited for my character's design as well. I'm just looking forward to that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, I actually I- have, actually, on my own um, personal channel, um, one of the stupid, uh, videos I made, um, is where we actually, I think it was, uh, I forget who did it. Anyway, the point is, uh, we ended up getting a drawing of, um, Dragon Lord, uh, Mist. Uh, hold Ooh. up. All right. Here. You guys will not be able to see it, but I have just made a note, so I remember at this point to put the picture into the stream. So, woo, it's appearing magically on the screen as though Yay. it was always oh there. Oh, my God. Woo. That's so amazing. <laughs> I know. It's so beautiful. It's so breathtaking. It's, it's, it's so incredible. It's breathtaking. You're breathtaking. <laughs> see, what you guys fail to realize oh. is it's quite... Wholesome moments. Oh, there, there we go. There's Ra- Rimberdersh. Rimberdersh. Oh, but I think if, if any of you guys have seen the... Rainbow Dash birthday video. I have. The, the one, even Max agrees, the one point where I just go, oh. Oh. That, the one point, just the way he edited it, which is so funny. <laughs> even I could not get past that I point. Was... It was, I kept laughing so hard. Oh my god. I was actually in a call with him when he pulled that up. When he saw <laughs> that image for the first time and put it into edit it, I was right there. 
Because <laughs> Maeve was on the call as well. It was myself. I think it was Basic Res, myself, Max, and Maeve. Um, and what happened was uh, Maeve actually said, oh, oh, Max, I almost forgot to give you this one. And then he's like, uh, oh, okay, uh, let me put it in. Oh, my God. And I swear the reaction he had, it was a genuine fear. <laughs> and then there was that. And then shortly after, shortly after, every single one of us, every single one of us changed our profile picture and oh my god, it became a mess. Uh, I I remember you guys. I remember you guys doing that. I'm like, what the? Oh, I, no- was... I noticed it. I noticed the change as well. And I was like, um, interesting choice, but I'm not too sure like what exactly it is because like when it showed up for the icon on the Discord, it was like only showing like the four, like the head. So like it was only showing like the rainbow hair, and I was like thinking, okay. <laughs> Oh yeah, the thing is, each one of us became a different part. <laughs> so it's like we had to respond in a specific order for it to work, and it's like we ended up we ended up like going around and stalking random people on the server. It was great. <laughs> that was. Oh, my God. oh that was. Good grief. That was. That was something. I will tell you that. I will tell you that. Um. So. Okay, trying to, because, okay, I'm fine with us just chatting about whatever, but let's let's try and talk about some uh, more things, like, planned out at least. Uh, so here's the thought. Um, so what, ki- hi- what kind of projects have you guys worked on in the past? I'm guessing I'll start first. Um, <laughs> any volunteers? Yep, yeah, I'll vol- I volunteer as tribute. <laughs> <laughs> you volunteer as tribute. tribute. <laughs> so, uh... I started voice acting back in, like, 2018, so I'm relatively new to this whole thing. But um, project-wise, I've gotten myself into the more stop-motion side of voice acting. So I've just participated in in stop-motions varying as to Transformers, Marvel, uh, Lego, pretty much just around that areas. And even working with some of the popular stop-motion animators like All Hail Megatron, Leo Legendary, uh, War TV... Wolfman Productions, and all that. So, awesome. yeah, yeah. I, just, I I just realized halfway through, I had my volume up on my headphones just loud enough that my mic was picking it up, and I just had to turn it. Down. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was a complete random note, but I just noticed. I was like, huh? You, you gotta stuff walk being before you up. run. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, got kind of like. Just something, I think, uh, shoot, who was it? It was, um, I was watching, I'm not sure if anyone's familiar with the, uh, the Honeycast. That, um, yes. I think it was, yeah, Believe Ashley not, Nichols I, set up. I actually, I actually did a thing of art on DeviantArt, and Ashley actually favorited it. I was freaking out. Ooh. You, you gotta, you gotta trot before you gallop. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but I was, I was actually watching one of the Honeycasts, and I think it was, uh, shoot. It was either... Edward Bosco or Michael Kovach. I want to say it was Michael Kovach, but they they mentioned something about um forget what it was. Basically, a good thing to remember anytime, and I think this doesn't just apply with voice acting; it applies with anyone. Nobody has your voice. Nobody has your art style. Nobody has your <laughs> sense of humor. Nobody has whatever. If someone needs that specific thing and you can provide it, they'll go to you. So it's like, it is absolutely essential for everyone to hone their skills, you know, build up and get that practice Mm -hmm. in. But don't go in thinking, oh, I mean, yeah, but there's already so many people out there. No, go in, enjoy yourself, because you will have a unique skill set that is not like anyone else's. There's going to be subtle differences in the way you project your voice and the way you draw your lines and everything about it. And I think that's important for everyone to remember. Like, yes, it is essential for you to develop skills. It's important to practice and all that. But at the same time, don't let the dauntingness of how many people there are deter you from living out your passion, you know? Right. Yep. Understandable. (laughs) Uh, So uh, anyone else? Have you guys been... What kind of stuff have you guys been doing? Or is this first project? Well, I'm actually in one thing. I'm kind of not at liberty right now to say what it is because she wants to keep all the 
voice actors kind of hush hush until the project actually starts. But uh, all I can same, say same is that <laughs> I can say is that it is a project by Harmon Harmonic Hasman slash Glitched Urkin in her what technically series False Tranquility. Nana, I I know you know who I'm voicing. Please do not say. I, I don't want Renee getting mad at me. I didn't yep. know about this. Neither did I. <laughs> <laughs> yes, let's let's be careful, yeah, but, everyone. Do not um, um, reveal. What happens in the podcast stays in the podcast. <laughs> okay, don't have to worry right. about me. I don't. I didn't even know about this, sister. How could you keep this a secret from me? <laughs> because Renee wanted me to. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I guess for me, um, like some of the stuff I've been in, um, I think one of the projects that has yet to be released, so I'll be careful about how much I say, but there's one project that I'm going to be working with, with, if any of you know who, uh, I swear if I mispronounce this, I'm going to be mad. I think it's Demetrix Entertains. Yes. I'm like 90% sure on that. But um, it's it's one little series they're working on. Um, I'm not gonna go any further than that. Um, but it's it, it's a pretty cool project. Um, I'm looking nice. forward to that. I'm also if anyone is familiar with has been not has been hotel. Everyone knows what has been hotel is with Mageko Castle. <laughs> if anyone knows about Mageko Castle, ya boy gonna be voicing King Mageko in a nice. fan Congrats. a fan dub over of it. And it's like it's a really obscure series, and I doubt a lot of people know about it. But it is well worth it. It's like a, um, it was a uh, small like RPG maker developer. Um, I think they went by um, uh, Deep Sea Prisoner. But yeah, several years back, I think it was like around like two thousand eight or something like that. They released um, Mageko Castle along with over the years they've released several other projects. But it was just immediately like it it like carved out its niche but that niche like everyone clung to it you know it was it was an awesome game basically it it is for more adult audiences people be aware of that it, it, it includes some very mature themes but if you have not heard of the game or if you've not seen it i recommend either check it out or if you want you can wait till yours truly voices in it <laughs> i'll probably uh, wait Say what? <laughs> I'll, I'll probably wait to, oh, you, to yeah. hear you in it. But now well, I'm thank interested. You. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah. Let's see. What else we got? What else we got? Um, oh, ooh, this was one that um, one of the other voice actors on the project, the um, uh, Sean Valley, who is the voice of Dazzle Surprise and October Dreams. I think they mentioned this. We actually tried to record a podcast like about a week ago. <laughs> Um, it, we had some technical difficulties, so we had to scrap it. Oops. Um, All part of the experience. But he Happened. mentioned, wait, what? All part of the experience. Yeah. Part, and I said part, it happens. Part of the experience. I'm still like kind of antsy it, because I'm worried this one's, something's going to mess up. Like I've got, I kid you not, I've got four, a total of four fail safes if something goes wrong with anyone's audio. So it's like. Actually, arguably five fail safes if something goes wrong with someone's audio. <laughs> Literally the Batman of podcasting. Nice. I'm like, look, <laughs> look. Surely if I have enough backup plans, surely something will work. <laughs> 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 but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if that actually happens in pa in practice. Um, the video is the one that's most likely to have something go wrong because I've got just one video but push comes to shove i'll just put like a stupid meme over it or something i don't know <laughs> um but yeah so um anyway something he brought up was i think it was golem juice i'm not sure have any of you heard of the legendary golem juice sadly no okay no. so for those of you who do a lot deeper gravelly voices something like this or like smeagol or golem or anything like that <laughs> You know, the more fun voices. Um, there's this concoction you can make. I forget the exact <laughs> recipe. I think it was you take, like, diced ginger and, like, steep it and then, like, strain the water out of it. Like, like boil it and steep it and uh, strain the, strain the um, diced ginger out. Then you pour the water into, like, a cup 
and you like bring it to a simmer and then you put in like some lemon juice and honey and then just a dash of cinnamon. And like you do this all kind of to taste. You take that. It is a very unique taste. Nothing like anything I've ever tasted. But you take that and you drink it and it is like the ultimate throat soothing soothing concoction. And it's like, it just, let me tell you, the number of times I've like screwed up my voice because like, I actually had to, um, cause yeehaw, I'm stuck at home for reasons we're not going to get into, but we all know, by the way, if you're watching this several years into the future, it's that time of 2020. We all know, <laughs> <laughs> you know, that worldwide issue. Actually, no there, there was a lot it's, 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 that, it's that time but, in the decade where we p- went past one challenge thinking nothing could stop us. And then, and, and then in orderly fashion, something else arrives. Pretty much. It's like. I'm realizing I'm saying that one thing that happened in 2020, but now at this point it's like, okay, which thing are we talking Tons about? Of the worst have one. So That's far. very relative. <laughs> and we've only reached halfway. The um, the one that caused people to have to stay. Wait, no, I can't say that because there's now multiple that are causing people to have to stay home. <laughs> <laughs> the one that, for health reasons, people have to stay home. We'll put it that way. Smooth. Um, so uh, handled it like a this. champion. You know, get, well done. <laughs> Dancing around it like a champion. Woohoo. You know what? As long as it's a joke, it's fine. (laughs) Um, But yeah, um, basically, because of that, we haven't been able to get to the store or anything. So I've been doing it with, I made the mistake of thinking, okay, I don't have lemon juice, but I have lime juice. Lime juice is not a sufficient substitute. You will regret it. (laughs) Oh, dear. Yeah, so don't use lime juice. Um, Use lemon juice. But yeah, I used, um, I don't have a lemon juice, so I haven't tried it with lemon juice yet, but I've tried it with um, powdered ginger, and I did actually have honey, so I at least used that, and then cinnamon. Um, so at least with the powdered ginger and all the others, it worked, but in theory, we should get a delivery coming in tomorrow, I think, that has actual lemon juice and like actual like whole uh, ginger root, so I can like actually dice it up. So that will be interesting. But yeah, that that that's a that's a fun one. Um, Science. Okay. <laughs> so here's a question. Here's a question. What brought you guys to this project? Like, how'd you find it? Hmm. Anyone, anyone, anyone want to go first or? Any, I, 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 Jacob, <laughs> you usually go first. <laughs> so you're going first again. <laughs> I volunteers tribute every time. Okay, so um... <laughs> you're the sacrifice. So, for a majority of, like, the work that I've gotten into thus far, which mm-hmm. has been relatively small, I've just been using Casting Call Club, and I've just been, like, just... Same. Yeah, I've just been, like, filtering, like, certain, like, things, and then I thought to myself, well, and this is a really interesting story. Like, yeah. this video, My Little Pony, pops up on my, like, home screen on YouTube, and I just decide to click it, and then, for some reason, I get hooked, and then I watch another, and then another... And then long story short, I just type in My Little Pony into the filter, press enter, and then lo and behold, the first thing on the top is the My Little Pony Last Generation. And so I click on that and just scroll through it, just having a look. And uh, yeah, we're now here. (laughs) Interesting. See, I joined the project. I used to be like a huge brony. And then I joined the projects. Like, like, I used to be a huge brony, and then as time kind of progressed, I kind of slowly fell out of it because I was too lazy to keep up with the series. And mm. then this project showed up, and I'm like, huh, well, I guess I have to get back into it again. But um, the thing is, the way I became a brony was the funniest story. Because back then, let's just say I was an insecure little boy who was like, man, I have to be a boy. Because, you know, gender roles don't Aren't we all? See, I'm fine being a guy. I'm just like, look, I'm going to be a guy, but I'm also going to be a guy that wears a dress because gender roles are dumb. But that's besides the <laughs> point. But basically, going back, going back, basically, they were like, hey, so there's a series. Like, a friend of mine was like, hey, so there's a series. And I'm like, okay. It's called My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. And I'm like, yeah, no. And they're like, no, 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 trust me, it's fine. And I'm like, eh, no. No. And then eventually what they end up doing, I kid you not, I'm visiting their house one day. They tell me we're going to go watch Doctor Who. 
And then they lock me in a room <laughs> with my little pony play. I, sh- I shit you not. This is how I got introduced please into the tell series. Me, please tell me they did it like subtly. Like you're just sitting on the couch and just behind in comedic fashion. They just, <laughs> they just got up, like fully exaggerating their movements and then just flick the lock on just so the door would stay locked. And then just jump onto the couch and just go, all right, let's watch some Doctor Who. Hmm? It's like that. And then they, they pulled up, um, I forget, I think it was the, um, I forget the name of the episode. It was the one where, like, Spike became, like, that giant monster or whatever. Oh, yeah. And, like, tried to run one. around. I think it was, like, All for right. rarity or whatever. Yeah, I remember that. It's yep. like, it's a, this entire event is a fever dream. It is an absolute fever dream. <laughs> but, oh, my God, that was my introduction to My Little Pony. Um, and then the series... I, I think I think I like found this particular series just like I was browsing uh, for affinity. Um, I was like, I wonder if anyone I want to do voice acting stuff because at the time I'd never done anything. So I was like, um, voice acting that seems fun. Oh, here's this random thing. Let's see, My Little Pony: The Last Generation. Huh. Well, this looks boring. There's just like a whole bunch of like girly characters. I'm like, don't get me wrong, I don't mind girly, but it's like I'm a dude, and all of the roles are female, and it looks like it's gonna be on par with like like I, I actually assumed it was directed by a little girl and I was like <laughs> yeah no but then later the project showed up again and I was like you know it keeps showing up because like at that point I had a casting call account and it showed up again on casting call I was like huh eh screw it let's see what this is and I jump in I jump in and the first thing that happens is because I auditioned for a crap ton of dads I hop into the server and the first thing that happens is Maeve says to me, Hello daddy, I want your I want you up my butt. <laughs> and I'm like <laughs> <laughs> so What this, an introduction like, okay, so into the like Discord. <laughs> what an introduction. So it's like, okay, so this is um a project. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wow. What an introduction. And here I was, like, I just joined and I just go, hello. And then I just get, like, a few, like, comments just saying, hi, hello, welcome to Discord. And then you just, and then you show up and it's just like, hello, daddy. <laughs> hello, daddy. I want you in my butt. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> but she didn't even say butt. She said bum. She said bum, which has so much more energy to it. Because, <laughs> like, knowing who it came from. Knowing who it came from and the type of person they are in the context they used it in, the fact that they went through the effort of they could have said any word, but they went for bum. And I'm like, there's so much cursed energy to that. There's so much cursed energy to it. But that probably was what convinced me to say, you know what? I'm going to devote to this project. This is this project is worth it. Because if this is the kind of energy it's creating... Then Sign like, okay. me up. <laughs> Sign me up. I'm like, <laughs> like, like it, I could tell it was like a chill community. Like this entire thing. It's like, I mean, yeah, it's going to have some drama or whatever. But like all in all, it's like, okay, we're all kind of working together. We're all getting stuff done. It's like, we're making sure we're like actually making progress with it. We're actually getting stuff done. But at the same time, we can all like sit back and chill and not feel like, we have to only converse with each other on a, okay, here is my script for scene one. Um, okay, thank you. here's the uh, audio for <laughs> that script. I need, I, I need script A due on this day. Hurry up. <laughs> yeah, because, like, especially if you consider most of the other projects, because, again, I'm, like, just getting started with voice acting. A lot of the other projects I've been in, um, a lot of them just kind of like out of nowhere dipped. Like, I think like, uh, like so many of them, it's like, I, I think there's a few products. I don't even know who I'm cast for. They said, okay, congratulations. You've got the role. I'm like, okay, but I auditioned for generic extra voice actor. So which role do I have? And they're like, um, you got the role. And I'm like, okay, but you only had one audition. And he said, we'll f- give you a character based on how you do. And I'm like, and I'm like, yeah, but you got the role. I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> that is very vague. Yeah, it's, it's like, I don't even know which voice they wanted. I didn't know what character I was. And it's like, 
I went into the Discord. We had like a few back and forth real quick and then like nothing. And I'm like, well, that's that, that's fair. And that happened with several projects. And I'm like, okay. It's like, you know, I, I get if there's like li- minimal conversation, but it's like. You got to at, at least, least have some conversation. At yeah, least. at least have to know. Like, at least I understand, like, some projects it takes time to really develop the series. Like, or, at least, or at least an update that, every now and then. All to, three like, of go... the characters, I, all three of my characters don't show up for a while. Like, I know at the very least Dragonlord Mist doesn't show up until, like, what, season 10 or something? So it's like, I understand that, like, my characters don't have much development, but they have, like, a little, like, I know who, at least what their name is. And, like, I have a rough idea of what kind of voice to create. And I've been just kind of fine-tuning that so that by the time I do actually have a reference and I do actually have lines, I've actually got the voice, like, well uh, established, you know? Yep. Yep. But, yeah. Uh... <clears throat> Anyone else? I-, I can go next if you want. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. So... As a kid, I've always loved, you know, doing voices and just being and just, you know, and I've always loved, you know, cart- you know cartoons and as a and pretty much as a kid, I'd always read sto- stories to my cat and I'd always use voices and those are some of the fond memories I have. Anyway, I get a notification from a YouTuber that, oh yeah, he's looking for voice actors. I check it out. I'm like, eh. But that got me on the casting call. Yeah. And obviously, I came, I came across the, the project. And the one that caught my eye was Cherry Blossom. So I auditioned. And on Easter, turned figured out, oh, yeah. Now I got the email that there is a new note under the character Cherry Blossom. I'm like, I'm like wait, what? So I look, I check it out. It says, yeah, you got the role. I'm like, so I'm freaking out. Me. And then, funny thing, but how I got to be Rainbow Dash, I originally auditioned for Spring Parade, because I thought it might be fun to do a villain. Mm-hmm. And for her, for her voice, <clears> hang <throat> on, it was more like this. Deep, very oh. dramatic. And Max is like, you know what, if, if you can add a, a British accent to that, that'd be perfect for Rainbow Dash. So I did. He's like, okay, can you bring it up an octave? I did. So now I'm going, darling. I go, darling. That is really what I have to do before I record. Well, that, yeah, I go, darling, darling. Mincy. Honestly, that is such a huge thing. Trigger, like, like trigger uh, sentences or trigger phrases is like such a huge thing with voice acting. Yep. For Precious Gem, I have to I do I do Hello Starlight. Because for my edition I did White Diamond's little speech because I thought it would be perfect for what I had in mind. <clears throat> so I'll have to go Hello Starlight. Did you have fun? Did you get it all out of your system? Good, good. But yep. Yeah. So, funny thing, for almost all of my characters, their, like, trigger phrase is actually their own name. Like, Dragon Lord Mist. In order to get the voice out there, I just simply exaggerate the Dragon Lord Mist. And the fun thing about this voice is it's also a very nice voice to do if I ever want to do Discount Emperor Palpatine. I told you to wait on the command ship. <laughs> As you can see, my young apprentice, your friends have failed. I'm too weak. <laughs> my favorite Palpatine line is Do it. Do it. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> The thing is, yeah. I can't. E- I, the original voice I did sounded almost exactly like Emperor Palpatine. Like the Dragon Lord wrist that I originally had sounded exactly like that. But I learned very quickly that voice kills my throat in about five minutes, so I can't do that voice. <laughs> but I've made some v- various iterations to it to change it up. Um, the fun one, Sparkle Snout. Funny enough, I've kind of gotten to the point where I don't have to use it anymore. But like, I think it was. 
I've modified the voice since th then, but one of the earlier versions of Sparkle Samp's voice was something like this, and um, Sunny Salsa was the trigger word. Um, <laughs> because I initially auditioned for Sunny Salsa with this voice, because I think what was happening was I was just going down the list of characters that were dads, because I was like, you know, I'm going to just be horse dad. I was going down the list on casting call of all of the dad roles and just saying, I'm going to come up with the stupidest voice, random voice, and I'm going to audition with it for these characters. And Sonny Salsa ended up getting this voice. And, and then Max came up to me. He's like, okay, that voice, but for Sparkle Snap. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> 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 Anyone else use like trigger words or something? Just because I'm curious. Again, I only, I only use them for Rainbow <coughs> and Queen Precious Gem as for right now. Cherry Blossom has yet to have a trigger phrase because I'm still kind of working on her voice more. Oh, yeah. It's I like, just, once you get the voice down, yeah. I just use, like, my normal voice, but give it a bit more energy. Because, like, to me, when I saw, like, the character, pro like, this, like, the character image, as well as, like, the brief description that was on the casting call, I just decided... Mm -hmm. You know what? I thought I might make this guy intelligent, but also give him a little bit of like a quirk to where he thinks himself as like sort of like a funny guy, but also like confident in himself, which is the oh, complete yeah, opposite of what I am in real life. So <laughs> that's a mood. I mean, I, I I really like to play like stupid psychotic characters, and it's like I like to say I'm not psychotic. But, you know, my personality is really out there sometimes, so sometimes it just naturally flows out. <laughs> <laughs> Which may or may not be the reason I was cast also to voice some of the generic Megeko is a Megeko Castle. <laughs> you're just really happy understand about Megeko that, Castle. Well, none understand that Moge. Sorry, that's completely besides the point. That's a completely separate project. <laughs> yeah, but I can tell you're really excited about it. Oh, absolutely, darling. <laughs> Excuse me, yes. I believe I'm the only one that can say darling in this. Oh no, darling, I don't think you understand. No, no, darling, darling, Rainbow, you don't understand. Rainbow, that's my dear. Darling, that's my dear. I am the only one that can say darling around here. Okay, darling. fine, but I have a different voice. I have a different voice. <laughs> um, darling. If I do a different voice, <laughs> Alistair, my dear. Oh wait, no, that one's my dear, not darling. Darling doesn't sound right with Alistair, it's my dear. I mixed him up. You know what? Ignore that. Ignore that. <laughs> We're having a darling oh, on. Oh, 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 darling. Who says it better? Darling. Who do okay, who says darling better? Darling. 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 I'm clipping. Oh, oh my god. Darling. 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 I'm laughing so hard. Someone. Darling. Someone end me, please. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, darling. What method would you prefer? Darling. Strangulation? Minty, brute darling. force? Stop my main. Lethal injection, perhaps. Like a fashion show and just everyone just says darling during it. <laughs> <laughs> darling. Darling. You know what? Darling. I actually want that to be like like a little parody that that ends up becoming a reality. Just like Ember Lock's just like in this fashion show, and everyone, including Rainbow Dash, is just saying "darling." Turns out to be a nightmare. <laughs> that, oh would be, that would be Ember Lock's like worst nightmare. Because, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, darling, yes. sister, you're and a okay. nightmare, aren't you, darling? Wait, you, guys, you guys, you guys know the o, o Ashley thing from the Honeycast? Yeah. Oh that's Ashley. Like my oh Ashley. But oh. no, no, no. Here's the thing. Oh, Max, my darling. Darling. Max, darling. Blueby, Max, dear. Max, darling. Blueby, dear. <laughs> Blueby, he is going darling. to kill me later. <laughs> this really is. This is actually, to be honest, I think Eberlox is living the nightmare because she has to deal with that all the time. She yeah, has I, I, I feel so bad for her. You know, cause her having to deal with, with Rainbow Dash 24-7, and I'm her voice actress! <laughs> and I, I feel bad for her. I, I, I feel bad for anyone that has to deal with her. She just, oh my god, especially what I have planned, she's just, oh my god. D don't might, be surprised might if would you want be to just punch confused. her. <laughs> might would just be confused at, like, the absolute horror that's happening. Like, is this, like, a tradition in this town, or am I just out of the loop on something? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, one thing I just realized, because 
this took me forever to figure out, and I'd imagine a lot of people who end up watching this podcast probably don't know themselves. So, to clarify things, you may notice uh, she's voice acting Rainbow Dash, right? But she's acting like Rarity. So let me clear up a few things. That's basically the whole point. Yeah, a lot this of characters is have not, changed. This is not friendship is magic. We are. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of the characters are based off of what they said. Um, did Max say G three? I believe. Yeah, G three. Yep. Yep. Yeah. G three. So a lot of the characters are based on the characters from G three, not G four. Friendship is magic. So if any of y'all entirely are confused, separate things. That's why. Mm-hmm. Say what? Entirely separate thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So a lot of the characters have different personalities. There's a lot of characters that are unique to the series, and a lot of characters that are in Frenchman's Magic that are not going to be in our series. So just wanted to clarify that so we don't immediately be like, that's not Rainbow Dash, that's Rarity. <laughs> but but you want don't comments shocked, to say Vince. that. You want comments in the di- like down below just to like say that, just so then the video gets more like, you know, popularity. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, any publicity is good publicity, right? Am any, I right, Any guys? questions regardless, <laughs> yep. though, just put them in the comments and we'll get back to you oh, soon Oh, yeah, yeah, possible. real talk, real talk, real talk. Like, seriously, there's a lot of confusion, I can imagine, because, like, given what's public about the series, I mean, given what we know in within the own pro- our own project, I'd imagine there's a lot of questions. So feel free, leave them down below, we gonna answer them to the best of our ability. Like, hit us yeah. up. We got you. And if we don't know, Please, we'll, we we'll just respond that, we'll just respond back saying we don't know. <laughs> we'll get back to you yeah. later. Well, 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 we'll just every single answer will be we don't know. Um, don't <laughs> <worry. laughs> I, I can't do the laugh. I can't do. I can't do the laugh. <laughs> 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 oh no, that's gonna be a sad laughing off. A, a laughing sad <laughs> off. <laughs> okay, that one you win. I gotta okay, that just sounded like a horse there. <laughs> I can't do it. I, I can't do it. <laughs> 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 alright, alright, alright. So, I'm thinking yeah. we're getting to a good spot to be wrapping this thing up. So, um, I have a stupid idea. Let's just... You know, we could have a proper outro... But I don't think that fits, you know? Actually, Amberlox never got to say how she came across the project. Oh my god! Amberlox, go! Amberlox has, okay. been, has okay. just been in the corner, just like absolutely silent, just thinking she could get I'm away sorry, with like, not forgot. saying anything. Don't worry, darling, your big sister's here. <laughs> this go is ahead, my ahead. first podcast, I apologize. You're fine. It is completely fine. <laughs> okay, anyways, um... Okay, what started? Okay, first of all, when it comes to the voice acting thing, this is gonna be my first time actually voice acting in any project. Period. I'm. I mean, in the past, Yo. I've been. I've what been working say, on. You're welcome. I have been like <laughs> working, <laughs> working on. But I've been like doing voice impressions and stuff for fun, and because like a certain Disney movie inspired me to do like well actually not a disney movie a, a fellow a fellow voice actor got me inspired to wanting to do voice impressions and i've been doing it ever since and and yeah and uh nice. and ever since then um i and so i've been per i've been this is gonna sound crazy and i'm and i'm gonna be embarrassed saying this in public <laughs> but um I've been actually Release like, your deepest, darkest cigarettes, dear. Snap. <laughs> cigarettes, my dear. <laughs> Don't worry, darling. You're among friends and family. Yeah. But, um, and the I entire used... internet. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I used to pretend to... I actually pretended that I was doing my own, like, uh, projects and stuff. Well, actually, I technically record my own voices and stuff. So I... And stuff and I do like my own outtakes of certain characters like I did outtakes of Angel Dust and oh he was a hard one and um anyone who can pull off Angel Dust props to them that is a really hard voice to nail the thing is is, the guy that's playing Little Bell's little brother that is like a little brother to us yep Mm -hmm. he was actually played Angel Dust in Harmonic Husband's Bond dub but obviously he is not playing Angel Dust anymore also, quick thing, he oh. gave me he gave me the old Ashley treatment. Oh, oh Ashley. Okay, now I want him to do that to now I want him to do that to me. 
<laughs> no, 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 Bear. How come he, he does one sister, but not the other sister? <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm so getting on him about this. <laughs> it was it was when I was it was when I was on the stream for the first time. But um, anyways, I we got off I got off track. Um, what got me into doing this? Uh, blah, I can't talk. But what got me into doing this? What? to i mean how i discovered this project that y'all are doing is my fellow sister right here she introduced me she was like hey we're hey there's this project that me and little bro are doing and and there's one character that i wanted you to that uh, there's a character that's open that you could that you could try out as and you're going to be like you're basically going to be my actual sister in this project and i'm mm -hmm. like okay and i so yeah, so you can thank you can thank my you can thank my sister right here. You can what thank can good old Ray. Except if you're welcome. Yep, you could say you could thank Rainbow Hi, Dash right here to that got me in that got me to doing boy to doing an actual who got me into this in the first time. So thank you, thank you so much, and thank you, you're people. For... I mean, and doesn't Matt doesn't Matt like it when people have chemistry with each other? And it's like I see that. Oh yes. Yeah. The sister that I got to design, Rainbow Dash, is open, and I immediately thought of, oh, there's this girl that is like my sister. So obviously, I, I had to try and get her in, at least get her interested, which obviously, yeah. she did. And, uh, and so my tryout, so as for the tryouts part, was, um, I, when I found out that this character was like... <gasps> Not the t not the kind of, was like a goth kind of character. I was like, oh boy. So I was, and I immediately thought of like Sam from Danny Phantom, and so oh. I started, so I started talking like her and th and just like talk and and I didn't even get a script and I didn't even have a picture of this character yet and I like did a tryout before before she showed me and I was like talking about like I have black I have. I have black hair and I wear purple. And then she showed me that after that she showed me the character. I'm like, dang it! <laughs> and, and, oh, I, and she was she was a... sending the audio to me and I was sending it in to Chris. Yeah. And then she found out and then she told me I had to do and then she told me I had to be a little deeper and I'm like, oh and like deeper and flat and I'm like like Mod Pie and Mod Pie from Generation and, Four. And Raven from Teen Titans. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And Cut. then, and then my, and then what came out was basically a gender bend ver like, actually she said bore, she went with boring too, so I'm like, okay, flat and boring, and so she said, and so I was like, hmm, and then I decided to go with, uh, now I sound like, I, I use this gender bend Eeyore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, I sound like. Obviously, you go ahead. Huh? Go ahead. No, you go ahead, sorry, I interrupted. Oh, no, it's fine. But um, now, so I just decided to sound like a female Eeyore, and y'all liked it. And I'm like, okay, so I'm gonna be a fe. So she's gonna sound like a female Eeyore. Right, bro. That's and obviously, yep, obviously, I was telling her that you know, try to be a little bit deeper, flatter, because again, I designed Amber Locks, and I was told, okay, she's a goth pony, and I got the picture of the t of technically the the toy. So I'm like. Okay, I'll see. I'm designing her, and I'm I. And as soon as I finish creating her, I'm like, I see her with a deep voice, being like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, you know, she's acting like she like she does not care. Because again, yeah. if when I when I do art, it has I always manage to have it have personality. And it's like, you know, almost almost like it's a, an actual scene. Yeah. Yeah. That that's that just that's just the way I do art. Yeah. I so I, and this is like even the like, go ahead. Oh, sorry. You go ahead. What? Right. The, I, I just I, heard someone I, like freaking die somewhere in my house. <laughs> <laughs> I just heard a thud. It was like even in the stream, the one picture of Precious Gem with her three daughters. It's really funny. Obviously, a base I I used. The it was definitely the very first base I have saved on my computer. From when I was first getting into, you know, actually doing digital art, I just with that I imagined a whole scene going. It was oh so funny. I just imagined them saying "mom" in a really really weird way, like "mom, <laughs> mom, 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 m
Mum. Mum. Ma. Nothing. No. Quick pressure jam. She's just like, man. Oh my. What? What? Why are they doing this? I'm just like, ma. Mommy, I touch you. Like I touch you. Ma. Ma. You know, like I said, it was when he was little going, Mom. Dad, Dad, Dad! Mom, I want to write the back around! <laughs> <laughs> or, or, yeah, or even the one that you see on the screen right now of Trey Blossom and Cotton Candy. Again, that has personality. You can definitely tell like there's a little scene going. Yeah. But that's just the way I roll. Yeah. Again, the art just stands out. Like, there'd be ones where it's just like looks like an actual horse like for example this one right here that's just popped up oh yeah, yeah. like it just like it looks like it could actually exist mm -hmm. if it could and then we've got persecutes which just like have a scene within themselves like this one for example <laughs> i'm just <laughs> loving I'm, I'm, I'm just loving how when i'm like talking about something it actually pops up on the screen like thank you <laughs> and that's actually waiting. using uh, you know what? That's actually my favorite one out of everything else like i i just like how what? even while falling to an inevitable death you still gotta look good whilst doing it. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. The thing is, yeah. that's actually a base that I use that I created. If you don't mind me throwing in my deviant art. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Third. I was no, a person. Yeah, hold up, hold up. Let me. Yes. Oh, look, there's me. Yeah, but back before I knew she was a teenager, the guy is. Okay, real quick, a character real quick, real quick, real quick. Before you continue. For Rainbow Dash. Okay, so anyone who wants me to put their self promo, I'm gonna put it right. There, 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 Yay. and there, and there, and there, and I probably ran out, but don't worry about it. Point is, <laughs> I'm going to put it right where I said there. <laughs> I'm going to find a spot. Just plug <laughs> in the social media. It's just like it, it fills up the entire space. There! <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, like you see one in the corner, you see one in the other corner, then you, then it just all slowly just comes in and God, just you're gonna engulfs make the, editing the screen. Hell. Stop, stop, you're going to make the editing. No. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> I'm going to have to edit all of this. Anyway, oh proceed. Gosh. With whatever it was we were talking about before that. I just had to get that out. <laughs> we were just talking about the artwork <laughs> and just how, like, it all, yeah. like, just, like, has their own uh, is individual personalities. Like, with Persecutes, it's, like, a scene within themselves. As you can see within this one, they're just mm -hmm. most likely taking a selfie. <laughs> they just vibing. Thank you. Yeah, also, cool. Persecutes, I just... Oh, sorry, you yeah. go ahead. No, you you saying? I just wanted to quickly say I wanted to compliment how... Uh, oh, how awesome that looked of her looking at herself in the mirror like that. That was I like how that looked. You oh, gotta yeah, look like good while falling have, like, from the sky. Unique quality to them. No fall, no falling in. Stand. I'm falling in style, darling. Yes, because uh, uh, yeah, because when I first got the role of Rainbow Dash, I'm like, look okay, at I mean, look at all this beautiful art. art. Like we got. Look at all this beautiful art. Just just the blue bit. <laughs> You say that loud, <laughs> like blue bear. <laughs> like, mom. Like, mommy, I touch you. Like, why? Are they, why are they doing this? I told Max that. And then you just see, just like you just see, wise Terrier just like licking. The <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like one's like, just shouting, I, I, the other one's just poking, and the other one's just like going in and just like going yeah, full yeah. licking. It, 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 you know, Wisteria, Sun Shimmer, and Snowflake. That mm. has to be the uh, the picture icon for the group. I'm just, oh I'm, I'm, I'm just saying it's funny. <laughs> yeah. Okay, like, Precious Jam. Her mane was quite a hassle to design. Getting just did it, getting it just right. I went through at least, you no, know, what like two days just to get the mane right. Oh wow! And before I had the mane loose, I had a little concept that was kind of messy, but the first concept of her, she had a bun. And I, I'm always giving her updos because it's just, it's easier for, for me, especially with her. Yeah. Because all that mane, I, I want her to be, I want her to be the queen of wavy. 
It's not like kidding. I just zoned out because you said that right as that stupid Rainbow Dash art. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like the queen of wavy and I'm like, hmm. <laughs> hmm. You think yourself the queen of wavy? Behold. <laughs> Behold the actual queen. <laughs> it was voiced by me. <laughs> like, that, that Darling, you, to you see can't that. compete I mean, with this wavy glocks. <laughs> Darling. Darling. No one could ever think to defeat me. <laughs> oh, really? Just look at my wavy mane. Clearly, it's, it's wavier than yours. Watch it breeze <laughs> within the wind. And then, like, the camera just zooms out and just turns out it's just a fan. <laughs> <laughs> that has to be a thing. We, we need that. No, 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 no. No, like, Precious Gem actually, actually has the actual the wavy thing, kind of like. I guess like Celestia and Friendship is Magic. Rainbow's trying to copy it. And zoom out, there's a fan. <laughs> like <laughs> Just like a behind the scenes call like thing, but like in animation where it's just like one scene, but just a fan just like in the background. <laughs> oh man. Oh my god, so many ideas. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, is... I just have I just had a crazy scary thought. What? The, what is it, darling? Like I, when we were talking about gener- generation, when we were talking about friendship as magic, and that I just realized, imagine a crossover between and between them, and Rainbow Dash and Rarity meet each other, and oh the night- my gosh, that would be that, that would be pure terror. Sweetie Belle two- and Amberlox are like. I don't think I don't. I mean, I would love that idea, but I don't think we might have that kind of budget to do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I'm not. Oh no! Oh, I'm not like, saying just, that. Yeah. Oh my god! I, I I don't. I would feel so bad for anyone in the room that has to be in the same room as Rainbow Dash and Rarity because you got two overdramatic drama queens. I, that oh my god! That would not go very well. I just oh. can't even. But then it. But then again, no, as no, the like, as I the only non like part as a, again as like a breezy in this sort of discussion, I would just be like, okay, is this like a sort of like ritual in introductions, <laughs> or again, am I out of the loop? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Next thing you know, Rarity and Rainbow are having some sort of well, uh, like I'm super fabulous off, and the, next thing you know, there's glitter and sparkles, all, sparkles all over the place. Well, I mean, I'm uh, a dragon, so I don't understand all this fluffy nonsense that you people you seem to use. Uh, well, I mean, don't like, dragons I, I have gold? Even. Don't you have like gold well, in like your that's different. That? That's different. We take that, <laughs> we take that stuff, and we put it deep within our dungeons. We don't wear it. How dare you? We must well, keep surely, it safe. Surely, surely, out of all the gold and treasure, you this might is have so some shiny clothes. Sparkly. We don't care about well, those I mean, beauty yeah, ponies. That doesn't mean we put it on. Sure, I'm sure. I'm what sure you must. You surely must do it in like free time. Like being a dragon look, doesn't look, mean you what go happened out that nowhere. one night. Look, you weren't even. <laughs> look, you weren't so even you supposed have, to be there. You have worn no, something. I mean, have I mean you? nothing. Shut up. <laughs> you, you were spying on me, weren't you? I'll have I you. Mean, no, I, I was just asking you questions, ashes. and then you just went into the conversation. I. Uh, I literally. I've only just asked you these all questions. All right, everyone, like, that's on. all the time we have for today. We're going to uh, come come back next week when we do another podcast or whenever it ends up being. Bye! Bye.